أحد عشاق العشاب الطبية قاده البحث عن طب العشاب الصيني في النهاية للوصول إلى الصين لكنه ما زال لديه حلم توماس أفري الأمريكي الجنسية سبع سنوات الأربعاء هو الموعد الأسبوعي لتوماس وأصدقائه لتسلق الجبل المختلف في توماس عن باقي أصدقائه أنه يتسلق الجبل وفي الوقت ذاته يجمع الأعشاب الطبية I got interested in herbs uh, in the late 80s. I'm not really sure exactly why. I think I was looking for a way to take care of myself. Uh, I kind of opposed some of the basic society or whatever. And so I got into herbs as a way to sort of be against modern society in some way. And, and uh, I don't know, I, I quickly realized that there was a whole world of that I never knew existed. I had uh, some friends that were into it, and then I dated a woman who was very into herbs for a while, and that got me more interested, and I don't know, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was, I was you know, making it my, my passion, and then, and then I learned about Chinese medicine, which I had never really knew existed. I guess that, that, You know, that sort of set me on this whole new path of, of what, what medicine was and what health and disease was. And ever since then, I've used Chinese medicine as my primary form of uh, medicine, both as a practitioner and, you know, occasionally as a patient, I suppose. Uh, actually, I think this is japonica. So this is sort of an interesting thing about this. We have uh, also a species that we use in, in, um, in the West. It's from Europe, which is called motherwort, which means it's the herb for mother. And the Chinese is imuta, which means benefit mother herb. There was no communication between uh, China and Europe with the naming of these plants. And yet the name, it's not the exact same species, but it's the, in the same genus. And they're used almost exactly the same way. Uh, so we use this top part when it's in flower. It's a little bit late now, but uh, and it's used for all kinds of menstrual diseases and, and um, problems with the heart. Um, and it's, you know, it's a very, very important herb. When it first bloom. Yeah, when it first starts to bloom. These are these timing, are good timing. 跟哈一块出来呢就是说跟以前不一样以前出来玩的时候呢这眼睛里看的都是山看的人看的庙看的房子哈照相但是跟他认识以后呢我们在一起出来玩的时候每次他都会看旁边的路上的这些花啊草
他出来的时候，眼睛里什么都看不见，只看见这个地上的、树上的、任何地方的、角落里的，都能被他发现他想找的这个草药。Thomas is always at the end, <laughs> photographing, looking for herbs, and taking pictures of plants. And he's having uh, his little intimate moments with nature. I have consulted with Thomas, uh -huh. professional, very interesting to talk to, very knowledgeable. And the the prescription, uh, I think, was good. It tasted terrible. <laughs> well, you know? he's known in Beijing for his herbal uh, <laughs> treatments and things. He's been uh, given <laughs> given lectures at uh, Oasis Ho Hospital. He gave a full, and I think every naturopath in Beijing attended that lecture. And he was treating with a local culture. Um, organization. I was why he treated me. That's how I first knew him. And then all of a sudden he shows up on the hiking group. I'm like, wow, where'd you come from? So, yeah, he's quite well known in this field. People call me herb whisperer or plant geek. And for me, it's just that I have this, I seem to have this sort of connection with the plant. It's almost like they're my brothers and sisters. Every plant is a medicine if we just knew how to use it. تعرف توماس على زوجته الحالية وو تيانغ هونغ في بكين منذ ستة أعوام ثم أنجبوا ابنتهم التي أطلقوا عليها اسم أوتومان ريني لكن الرياح أتت بما لا تشتهي السفن ومن أجل إحياء ذكراها قام الزوجان بتأسيس مزرعة حملت اسمها في ضواحي بكين ولكن للأسف قامت إحدى الوحدات الخاصة بمنشأة صناعية باستغلال أرض المزرعة لذا يقوم الزوجان الآن بنقل المزرعة إلى مكان آخر المسافة بين مزرعة رونغ شياو الجديدة والمزرعة القديمة ليست ببعيدة في تلك المزرعة الكبيرة يمكن للأطفال أن يتعلموا كل شيء خاص بالنباتات كما يمكنهم الاقتراب أكثر من الطبيعة وتعلم الزراعة العضوية في فصله الربيع والصيف يأتي توماس وزوجته إلى هنا نهاية كل أسبوع تقريبا الأعمال الذي يتوجب عليهما إنهاؤها كثيرة إزالة الأعشاب الضارة والري النباتات وإضافة السماد للتربة هما حقا يتمنيان أن يتمكن الأطفال هنا من تعلم كيفية الزراعة دون استخدام مبيدات العشاب والمبيدات الحشرية والأسمدة الغير عضوية This is actually an American plant. It's called echinacea. So it's a medicinal plant and it's used in medicine uh, in American. You might not like it, but you can try. Chew it for a little bit. It'll make your, make your mouth a little bit numb. Mm, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gan cao. Gan cao. Gan cao. And this one is a huang xin. The college students that come, there's some that come pretty regularly, and I've walked them through here several times, and they help me sometimes. And then um, when the children are here in the summertime, I think there was three groups this year at three different times. And so, yeah, we t I taught them a little bit about composting and some of the herbs. And from the start, it was, the idea was to... I mean, the, the idea was to, originally was to have a place where autumn rain could rest and there could be other kids around and lots of flowers and it would be beautiful and it would be peaceful and, you know, she left so early.
just wanted to give back somehow. Okay, so today uh, we're here in my little, well, this is kind of my office, but uh, it's my, my little pharmacy here. And uh, we have some extracts that I make here, as well as uh, some, some uh, dried herbs that I, I keep kind of on display. I have more underneath here, but so they're from all over. I grow some of them and I, um, we grow some of them at the garden and uh, I also pick some in the, in the mountains. So here's an example of one. I want to just show you because, uh, you know, for those those watching in the West, maybe uh, you're you're a little jealous because actually this is a mahuang, a fedra, which I picked in the mountains recently. So it's um, it's hard to get in the U.S. these days, but it's a really important herb. So I'm really happy to have a, a full jar of that here. So, so you know, I have a mixture here. Um, you know, my specialty is uh, is combining Western herbs into Chinese medicine, and so I have a mixture of uh, Western herbs and Chinese herbs. Um, obviously, the Western herbs I need to grow myself. The Chinese herbs I can buy or grow. So I have things like uh, Scutellaria latiflora, which is a, an American herb, uh, alongside of uh, Chuanxiong, which is a Chinese herb. Uh, and today we have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm out of uh, Dangui, so we're going to make a little uh, Dangui uh, tincture. So I have some... Uh, I have a bag down here of some uh, some dangue that I've been waiting to uh, grind into a little powder. So um, so this is a, this process is something that's it's you know it, it's done a lot in China, um, though it's not quite as popular as maybe it used to be. It's very popular in the West. قبل أن يصل توماس إلى الصين كان يدرس ويبحث في الطب الصيني لقرابة عشر سنوات مما يشمل تشخيص المرضى ومعالجتهم وإلقاء المحاضرات دائما كان يشعر بالاهتمام تجاه البشر والطبيعة والتفاعل بينهما كما كان مغرما بالصين ليس فقط بطبها التقليدي بل امتد الأمر إلى الألعاب القتالية والفلسفة الصينية لذا قرر في النهاية المجيء للصين وهو أمر بدهي للغاية here my little workstation um, uh, I have uh, you know a couple books that I wrote and uh, my first book is this one here Western or herbs according to traditional Chinese medicine and uh, practitioners guide so this was published in 2008 and uh, all these photographs are mine and uh, this this book is uh, about using Western herbs in the using the theory of Chinese medicine, using Chinese medicine as your primary um, medical modality, but but using Western herbs to do that because, of course, in the West we have a long tradition of of, uh, of herbal medicine, and so we have lots of herbs, um, and then uh, this past spring in uh, spring of 2014 I published my second book and this one actually I, I published I self-published um, so I'm, I'm kind of proud of it because I you know I did everything myself except for some of the editing <clears throat> um, and this is basically the same thing as as the first book uh, this book here has um, another 52 herbs in it so I have a total of uh, over a hundred herbs that I've described uh, Western herbs I've described using uh, Chinese medical theory um, and uh, I you know I'm, I'm, I'm very partial to to Wen Bing and uh, some of my favorite Wen Bing uh, books are here's a couple here by written by um, Liu Jingyuan and so here's a, this is, he did a commentary on, this is, you know, the, one of the most famous books, which uh, I have here somewhere, yeah. 
I just got this today, actually. This is a um, <clears throat> 1950s version. Uh, in the 50s, China did this major, uh, did, had this major publishing project where they, um, they published a lot of the classic books in, uh, and very accurately. So we have these uh, great classics. Uh, this is the Wenbing uh, Taobian, which is, uh, you know, one of the most famous and uh, important Wenbing books. So, <clears throat> and then here's uh, Liu Jingyan's uh, commentary on that book. So I have, I have a number of other of his books, so um, I'm really excited to meet him. البروفيسور ليو تينغ يوان هو اخصائي امراض الحمى المعروف والذي يكن له توماس كامل الاحترام والتقدير اعتاد توماس ان يقرا مؤلفات ليو في المنزل كما يقوم بمتابعه محاضراته المسجله عبر الانترنت يتمنى توماس مقابلة البروفيسور الشهير ليسأله عن عدة أشياء فمقابلة البروفيسور ليو حلم يراود توماس منذ فترة طويلة <笑>希望那个不要太麻烦不麻烦有什么问题啊我觉得你只是最大的那个现代的最大的文兵那个老师不能这么说那不能说最大没有最大那个这个是非常好现在拍也拍成视频了拍成视频呢给这两位以后嗯文定里边的方子不仅是指文定那可能也样子对那可以用啊嗯对嗯对我知道是的就他他内行了我的梦想是跟你写一本书我我给他翻译嗯就是把它把它翻成研究文自己去吧啊你自己出版的啊这
，需要我帮助的时候，我一定全力以赴，好不好？啊，好，谢谢。<笑> yeah, so after I don't know a, a lot of years of reading. Uh, Leo Lauscher, Leo Lauscher's books and watching his his um, classes on on, on the internet, I finally got to meet him today, and he was just really fantastic and sweet and complimenting and um, very very kind and encouraging for all the things that I talked about. Um, you know, he's 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 in the top of his field in in as a clinician and in. Um, in warm disease theory, when being one of the highlights of my my time here in China, really. So, and and you know, perhaps we get to somehow have some other interaction in the future. I'll get a PhD and be able to go back home and become a professor at some university. تكون الحياة في الصين صعبة بالنسبة إلى الأجانب. قد تواجههم مشاكل. مثل مشكلة تلوث الهواء والطعام والأمن وازدحام المواصلات وغيرها من المشاكل لكن توماس متفائل جدا فسر حياته السعيدة في بكين أنه يأخذ كل الأشياء بتأن وصبر Living in China is, is, uh, is very interesting There's a number of things that are challenging about living here um, Probably the, the biggest challenge for me personally is being away from my daughters Although we can, we can have uh, we can talk on Skype and we can do things like that. It's still, still not the same as being there. Um, you know, of course, there's cultural differences and, and that can be problematic, but mostly that's not too challenging for me. I mean, after all this time now, it's, uh, I've gotten used to it. I've gotten pretty comfortable with, uh, with Chinese culture. I mean, China and, and Beijing specifically are, are still uh, great places to live. One of the things that, uh, that, that a lot of people don't realize in the West, that, and, you know, if you've never been to China, is that, um, you know, everyday life is, is not really that different than anywhere else in the world. Uh, everybody is still wants to do the things that they want to do. Um, they, they want their kids to have a better life than they did. Um, you know, they tend to work hard and work for their, work for their children. 这是什么东西？这是一个，这是一个鹿皮，鹿皮。I try to bring little parts of my life from the United States into China, um, whether it's、uh, you know cultural or food or medicine or whatever.、Um, and of course, I have the benefit of having Having、uh, ice hockey and the whole community here. In the end, I'm I'm looking at how can I find a way to、um, take the the things, the opportunities that I get here, integrate them into my life that I brought here,、um, and create something new. Somehow, leave a positive mark on the world. Yes. yes. Did you, you have a good day? You had an exciting day. Great day. We、yeah. had an incredibly good tour. What did you do? You did some. We went on a, a tour of the Beijing postcard. Do you ever heard of those guys? Postcard. Okay. Well, they do custom tours. We did a custom、wow. tour of the Forbidden City, looking at it, the narrative of the history of the Republic, the transition from Pui to the Republic. Oh. So you know, very specific, going through the Forbidden City. We started in、okay. a tea house. It was actually the first public park in Beijing after the,、uh, the you know, 1911. Right, right. I got this when we were at the ancient book museum. I went to the bookstore, <laughs> so I got you one of these. I figured you'd like this. Oh, that's so sweet! Look at that. It's like the Chinese traditional American coffee. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah. So they're the different pages from the different books that they have in the museum. Sweet. Oh, I have to get these framed. I have a very bad hip, arthritis in my hip, and he made a concoction for me that is actually working and making my hip better. So I'm I'm very thankful for his great knowledge of Chinese medicine. He plays hockey, American hockey. Very strange for someone his age. Hockey is a very tough sport. So I've always been impressed that he actually can play hockey still, which is a very very aggressive, hard-hitting sport. That's been something good. 
I also went with Thomas to the ancient book museum, everyone to go to. Great museum, one of the best in China. And with he and his wife, Zhang Hong, we walked around the museum and they gave me a lot of insight into what these books mean culturally. So I think uh, it was a great, great experience with them. So they've, they've given me a lot of richness about Chinese culture and made me feel better. What more can you ask from a friend, huh? I think it's great. Chi 今天来其实想找他帮我看一下我的腰，因为我腰现在有点疼。I'm mm. very proud to have a husband who is a Chinese medicine doctor, and I'm very supportive of his career choice. It's it's kind of a weird. Huh? He's a Westerner. He's a Chinese medicine doctor, and I didn't know much about the Chinese medicine, but because of him, I changed so much, and I am totally in love with the Chinese medicine now. Another one of the difficulties that I have here is that it's very difficult for, for foreigners licensed to practice Chinese medicine. Sort of the next step here for me is really um, is to um, find this place where I can take all of that I've accumulated to this point, find the right teacher, do it all in a dissertation as part of a PhD here. And so I think I've found that person. We've been talking and I, th I think it's going to work out so I can sort of take this whole conglomerate of information that I have from practice to um, ecology to sustainability and bring it all together in, in a way that probably no other student in China would ever do. We're going to see how it goes with, uh, with uh, Huang Laoshi and perhaps I'll be able to uh, do this this thing and um, and uh, you know I'll get a PhD and be able to go back home and become a professor at some university or something. Thank you all for coming. This is really uh, fun and exciting to have you all here and I get to cook for all of you. And so tonight we have a wide variety of food from Mexican to Thai to Chinese to French soup. We're all over the map. We have a very uh, global menu here for a global audience, so I hope everyone enjoys it. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Come <laughs> back.